Hello friends, welcome to the course of Coding Writer for RESTful API Development. Inside this video, we'll discuss about Spark CLI commands. If I back to browser, inside the last video, we have seen and understood all about the working principle of landing page. Now this time, we will understand the concept of Spark CLI commands. So before discussion of CLI commands, first we need to understand that what is a Spark inside CodeIgniter 4? So Spark is a newly added feature inside CodeIgniter 4. By the help of that, we can easily manage or communicate with a CodeIgniter 4 application. And this is the latest feature in comparisons with older versions. So if I go to terminal, this is all about the project folder what we have downloaded and installed into our local system. So if I type PHP Spark, once we type this command, it will provide a bulk of command list. By the help of each command of this list, we can easily manage our coordinator for application. In older versions, we don't have any facility. By the help of that, we can manage our application. But now, we can see by using PHP Spark, once we type this command, it has provided a lots of command list where we can see some sections called cache, code igniter, database, encryption, generators, and housekeeping. Each section contains a set of commands. For example, inside our installation section, we had seen the concept of serve command. By the help of that, we had started the code igniter PHP development server. So in the same way, inside database, these commands is useful when we want to operate with database. To understand all about our Spark CLI commands working, let's go here inside generators. If we want to create any controller for our application inside older versions, we can create files and put inside controllers folder. But now inside this latest version, Either we can create manually inside this controllers folder or by using spark CLI command, we can generate a controller and store inside this folder. For example, let's say that we want to create sites.php inside this controllers folder. So I'm not going to touch this controllers folder. Let's go back to terminal. So inside this generator section, we can see here we have a command called make controller. Look at its single line description, it generates a new controller file. So what I will do, php spark make controller, this is the command name. And here we need to pass controller class name. So I want to create sites. Let's press enter. Once we hit enter, it will create sites.php. This is a controller, so it automatically is stored inside this controllers folder. Let's go back to VS Code. So we can see that inside this controllers folder, now here we have the file and we can see that this sites.php now have the skeleton of a controller class. It automatically extends a base controller, which is the parent controller of this controllers and also we have an index method. So we can see that how handy this Spark CLI command list by using the simplest command, we have generated a controller class. So in the same way, we can create a model file, a migration file, a seeder file and many more. So let's use one more command from generators and that is for scaffolding. If I type again php spark, it will go and provide all about the command list. So inside this generators, we can see here we have a command called make scaffold. So once we execute this command, automatically it is going to generate scaffolding files. And those files like a controller, a model, a migration and a seeder file. So what I will do, I will copy this command. Let's clear this terminal. php spark command name and I will type the module name that is product. So after getting this name, it will create a product controller, product model, a product migration, as well as a pseudo file. 
Let's press enter. Now we can see that four different files automatically generated for our application. And the first file that is product.php which is a controller class. We can find this class file into this controllers folder. We have the second file that is model. Model files we can find inside this app folder. Here we have models folder and here as you can see product.php. In the same way, we can find this migration file and cedar file. If we go here, so app, inside database, this folder contains all about the migration files and by this, by the help of this migration file, we can create the table skeleton. The deep description of this migration class will discuss inside coming video. But for the time being, we can see that by using this make scalefall command, we can generate each of the different files of a specific module. Again, if I type php spark, we can see that inside this code igniter, here we have a command called routes. So, for the time being inside this application, we have the single route. If we go inside routes.php, we can see here we have a single route. But in some cases, if application contains more than 20 routes, so by using routes command, we can list all the routes inside this terminal. What I will do, I will go here php spark. If I type routes, press enter. Now as you can see that inside our application, we have only the single route that is actually using get request type. This is route here. It is using home controller index method. If I go here, let's add one more route. And let's say about hyphen s. It is using sites controller what we had created and from sites controller, it is calling index method. If I go here and again type the same command called php spark routes. Now we can see that this time our application containing two different routes that is for the landing page which is calling home controller and second route will be for about us which is calling sites controller. So successfully as we can see that how actually handy our spark CLI command list by the help of that we can easily communicate with our code writer for setup. Inside coming video, we'll discuss a uh, lots of things about this Spark CLI command list that is all about how to create a migration file, a pseudo file, all about creating a filter and many more. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.